my, my father said, if you've got something in, in your mind, it should come out of your lips. If you've got something in your mind, it should come out your mouth, Dan. And God, God knows. I took it to heart. And I've, I've lived that way all my life. 98% of all the people on the planet that are high performance are introverts. Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates have something in common. They're introverts just like you. What means? Maybe we have to explain this more. Okay. Introverts meaning that um, the um, you don't say what you really feel. Introverts is you you don't uh, uh, you you don't act as if you really wanted to show the person that you don't dis uh, disagree with them. Introverts are when your parents were telling you shit when you were growing up. You just put your head down and kept your mouth shut, and that's why you're introverted now as adults. Um, as you can plainly see, I, I wasn't raised that way. Uh, I asked the question a couple of days ago. How many of you, you can raise your hand with, how many of you have kids? Bad, but anyway, you have kids, okay? Don't raise your hand now. How many of you would like to have your kids grow up just like your parents? You know the answer, don't you? Close to zero. Because they were role models. Now, I'm not going to ask the second question. How many of you would like your kids to grow up and be like you? But the point is that I had self-esteem. I didn't know till I got grown up and was an adult that everybody didn't have self-esteem. I didn't understand that. I didn't realize that everybody didn't have self-confidence. I didn't realize that everybody didn't have self-worth. Because the kids that I hung with all were like I was. Because their parents were like, gave them a good role model. Most of the people that come to people like Michael or any of the, the, the gurus out there, and I call them a guru, come to them because the, uh, you, you were lacking something in your childhood. In my particular case, a lot of people come to me because I'm the alpha male father they never had. Don't you understand? Don't you get it? You think Elon Musk wants to fit in? We know the answer is no, right? You want to fit in because you had poor role models at home. Most everybody in this room is a pleaser. But being a high performance person is a full time job. Uh, Michael's only 20 over 20 years. I'm like this when I wake up in the morning to brush my teeth. I'm like this when I brush my teeth before I go to sleep. I'm like this 24-7, 365, and I've been like this for the better part of 50 years. I'm always like this. I'm always pushing the edge of the envelope. And that's why, you know, I'm an overnight success. I've been doing this, I've been coaching 25 and a half years, but all of a sudden I'm popular as hell, uh, but I've been doing this for 50 years. I have the same habits today as I had 50 years ago. The exact same habits. But they're, now they're just ingrained in me. They're ingrained in me. Um, and for those of you that have never been around the high performance people like I just alluded to, the Warren Buffetts, Elon Musk, uh, God rest his soul, Steve Jobs, who I happen to have known, they were like this 24-7, 365. It wasn't an act. I was doing some research for my talk and I looked up Heineken. Gerard Heineken, who was the founder of Heineken beer in 1864, he talked his rich mother. Heineken's come from a wealthy family even before the beer. He talked his mother into buying a brewery in 1864, uh, which the, they then turned into uh, Heineken. Uh, Gerard, or Gerard, was a heart tough as nails. Now, I didn't know him, I'm not that old, but I did know Freddie Heineken, the old man, and he was hard ball busted. Now, I don't know his daughter, the current CEO of Heineken, but I'm told she's a ball buster. I did know Steve Jobs. I do know uh, Elon Musk. I do know Warren Buffett. I, I do know, and they're all ball busters. Success leaves clues, kids. I just named five of the greatest names in business in the last 150 years. And they all have one thing in common. They're ball busters. They're hardest nails.
Where does that leave you? 